Nam yo honing gecko, 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 nam yo honing gecko. Hi, I'm Margaret, and this is the website where we take Buddhist philosophy and practice and apply it to the concerns and goals of everyday life. This week, we're going to discuss something a little different. Do you know how to overcome fear? Fear comes up when we've made a decision to expand our lives through focusing on a challenging goal. It will always come up when we're facing the unknown and we're at that boundary line between the known and the unknown. Anyone who's growing must learn to handle fear. Fear also arises when we're facing some negative circumstance in our lives and really don't have the vaguest idea of how to handle it. Essentially, this means once again facing the unknown. When we fall into fear, we have forgotten to focus on what we want and instead we have bowed to what appear to be circumstances controlling our lives. It's how things appear to be, but it isn't real. Fear is also an indicator that we have some disbelief in our Buddha nature. When we doubt our connection with the mystic law, we have forgotten its power to overcome anything and solve any problem. And it means that we're letting fundamental darkness control our lives. Let's look at an experience. This was in the World Tribune. When Eddie Moore was a young husband, he was told by the doctors that his unborn son had hydrocephalus and would be a severely mentally disabled child. He and his wife determined in front of the Gohansen that they would not terminate the pregnancy, but they would use their faith and practice to protect their son and make sure that he had a good life. But even with that determination, they felt as though they were victims of this circumstance and had no idea of how to meet the needs of their son. Eddie got guidance from a senior in faith who reminded him that countless members had overcome negative circumstances through faith in the Gohansen. But he could not be half-hearted and he had to decide to transform his karma. Eddie made a new determination. He was going to stop making excuses and take control of his future. Once his son Hiro, that's H-I-R-O, was born, the doctors discovered other neurological problems in addition to the hydrocephalus. That first year, they had many doctor visits and surgeries. Eddie and his wife steadily overcame every obstacle by going back to the Gohansen and determining to persevere. And it wasn't easy. But the end result was Hiro hit every milestone and has become the light of their family. Eddie learned that where before he felt like a victim, now he knows that in front of the Gohansen, he decides what the outcome will be. He also learned that when a dire situation occurs, it's possible to turn great evil into great good through the power of the mystic law. Nietzsche says that the important thing is to have no fear regardless of what happens. That's in the Hope-Filled Teachings. So how can you overcome fear? First, you have to recognize that you're feeling fearful. And when you recognize that, remind yourself that you're growing and you're facing the unknown and that fear is normal and is just letting you know that you're at that boundary between the known and the unknown. If you're facing evil, remind yourself that evil is a portent of great good if you use the power of the Gohansen. Second, go to the Gohansen and determine the outcome of your situation, what you want the resolution to be. In front of the Gohansen, you'll be able to see devilish functions for what they are challenge them head on and use them to transform your karma. This means to transform any disbelief in your Buddha nature, your connection with infinite mind, and that with this connection that you can resolve any problem. The power of the mystic law to change poison into medicine is absolute. And as Ikeda says, either we advance or we retreat. There is no middle ground. Either we cringe in fear and surrender to the negativity in our own or others' lives, or we challenge this negativity and deepen our conviction and faith. 
And then he says, quote, prayer is the courage to persevere. It's the struggle to overcome our own weakness and lack of confidence in ourselves. It's the act of impressing in the very depths of our being the conviction that we can change this situation without fail. Prayer is the way to destroy all fear, and it's the way to banish sorrow, the way to light a torch of hope. Third, take any action you can to handle the situation. Taking action reduces fear. And as Ikeda says, quote, bravely overcoming one small fear gives you the courage to take on the next. And as President Tota said, no matter what happens, be fearless, never retreat even a single step. And as Nietzsche said, not to advance is to retreat. Fourth, for support, unite with fellow members in the community of practitioners. Listen to experiences to remind yourself that the mystic law can handle anything. Then you won't allow yourself to be controlled by your circumstances. And finally, study. Advance with faith rooted in the oneness of mentor and disciple. Looking at how your mentor handles difficult situations, for example, in the human revolution, and what he does to handle fear, and then apply that in your own life. In summary, we discussed what fear is, that you're moving out of the known into the unknown, and that we, when we fall into fear, we've accepted that circumstances control us rather than we controlling our circumstances through the power of the mystic law. We have some disbelief in our human nature then. Then we discussed an experience where a father transformed the future of his dis disabled son through the power of the Gohanzan and learned that he determines what will happen in front of the Gohanzan and is not controlled by circumstances. And finally, we discussed the five, five steps to handling fear. First, recognize what's happening. Two, go to the Gohanzan with determined prayer. Take any action that you can. And four, unite with fellow practitioners for support. And fifth, study the writings to see how our mentor handled fear and use his example as a model. Here are some other vlogs that I think might be useful to you. Have you fallen into fundamental darkness? Here's a method to handle fears that arise while chanting. Conquer your fears. Find courage. And you all know, I love to hear from you, and I'm always interested in topic ideas. So keep them coming, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.